Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this diagram, such that uh, this uh, side uh, B, C equal to this side uh, C, D, and also equal to this side uh, A, D as well. And moreover, this angle uh, A, B, C is uh, 80 degrees and the angle B, C, D is 80 degrees as well. And furthermore, this angle B, A, D is being represented by X degrees. And now our task is to calculate this angle X. In other words, we are going to find the value of this angle B, A, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We can see the only info that has been given to us is this is uh, angle 80 degrees and this angle is 80 degrees uh, as well. So therefore, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. As you can see in this uh, next step, we have created uh, this line uh, AC such that uh, this angle uh, BEC is going to be 80 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, EBC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always 180 degrees. And here we can see in this uh, triangle uh, EBC, we know this angle is 80 degrees. Uh, this angle is 80 degrees, so therefore uh, this angle uh, BCE is going to be 20 degrees since the sum of uh, these three angles uh, is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore our this angle BCE turns out to be 20 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We know this uh, whole uh, angle uh, BCD is uh, 80 degrees and this uh, tiny angle is 20 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining angle uh, ECD is going to be 80 minus 20 is going to give us uh, 60 degrees. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, EBC. And now we can see that this uh, triangle EBC is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle uh, is 80 degrees and this angle is 80 degrees as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, side BC is going to be equal to this uh, side uh, EC. So therefore, these uh, sides have equal length. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this point E and this uh, point uh, D. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these two points and as a result, we got uh, this side uh, ED. And now we are going to focus on this uh, triangle ECD. And we can see that this triangle ECD is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side EC equal to this side uh, CD. So therefore, uh, these uh, two angles uh, are going to be congruent uh, as well. Now let's recall the triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of three interior angles uh, is uh, always equal to 180 degrees in a triangle. And since these two angles are congruent, so this angle has got to be 60 degrees and this angle is going to be 60 degrees uh, as well. And the sum of these uh, three interior angles uh, is always equal to 180 degrees. And now let's make an observation. Let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, ECD. We see this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is uh, 60 degrees, and this angle is uh, 60 degrees as well. So therefore, uh, this triangle uh, ECD turns out to be an equilateral uh, triangle. And since this is an equilateral triangle, so therefore, uh, this side uh, EC is going to be equal to this side CD and this is again equal to this side uh, ED as well. So therefore all these uh, sides uh, have equal length. And now let's recall the straight angle property and let's focus on this uh, whole uh, straight uh, angle. 
this is going to be 180 degrees we know this uh, individual angle is 80 degrees this angle is 60 degrees so therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle has got to be 40 degrees such that uh, the sum of all these uh, three angles uh, is going to be equal to 180 degrees indeed and here's our final step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADE and we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side uh, is equal to this side and since uh, these two sides ED and AD are equal in length so therefore uh, this angle uh, AED is going to be congruent to this angle DAE as you can see in this uh, given equation angle AED equals to the angle EAD and we know our angle uh, AED is uh, 40 degrees so therefore our angle uh, EAD which is being represented by X is going to be 40 degrees uh, as well so thus we conclude that our angle X uh, turns out to be equal to 40 degrees so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle X turns out to be 40 degrees in other words uh, this angle X uh, is equal to 40 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye